What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to share with you my exact plan for retirement and how many rental properties you are going to need to achieve that. And I'm not talking about retiring young and buying all the cars and Lambos that you want just to be inactive and sit on a beach somewhere. I'm talking about supplementing your W-2 income with rental property income so that you can do the things you love on a daily basis on your time. Throw away the nine to five job so that you can do all the things you wanna do and be all the things that you wanna be. And if that comes with having some tools and gadgets, so be it, but have that be a means to an end. Don't let it be the main focus. Your rental property retirement is gonna give you a payday every single month for the rest of your life. You don't have to wait until you're 62 working a nine to five job that you hate just to get a lump sum cash payment that's going to be deteriorating with inflation. So stick around to find out exactly how many rental properties you're going to need to make this happen and retire early. If you're new to the channel and haven't watched any of my last two videos, I'm doing a giveaway at 500 subscribers and I'm walking two people through their first rental property. I'm going to get you into the game, give you all the knowledge I know, lenders, real estate agent, Anything I can do to help, I'll give you my number. You can jot it down, text me, call me anytime you want, and I will be there to bounce ideas off of and to walk you through your first property and get the keys in your hand. So if that interests you, subscribe down below, smash the like button to get this out to more people so we get there faster, and let's get into the video. Now the first thing you have to do, which isn't real estate related, is add up your monthly expenses you're gonna come up with an average number that you spend each month that you're then gonna to have to replace with your rental income. Now I know it might seem boring, but it's something you have to do, or else it's like going through the woods without a map. You have no clue where you're starting, so then you're gonna get lost along the way. Now my challenge to you for the next three months is add up every single expense, every single thing that you spend your money on, groceries, gas, your utilities, the other gas that gets you through your day, anything that you spend your money on, write it down. Now I know most of you aren't gonna wanna do this because our money's not going to the right places. At least we can be honest with ourselves about that. But if you get a hold of your expenses and know exactly how much you need to sustain the lifestyle that you have, then you have a starting point and know what your goal is to achieve in rental income. So to make it easy, I'm gonna suggest you break it up into two categories, your necessities and your luxuries. So necessities will be things like your groceries, your rent, your gas, your utilities, anything that's non-negotiable. And on your other side, you're gonna have your luxuries, things that you can cut back on if need be, like vacations, expensive dinners, going out shopping for new clothes, or your other gas that might not be a necessity and it's not the kind that you put in your car. If you can track your spending over the next three months, you're already ahead of 90% of the population. Nine out of 10 people will never do this in their life. So you can go ahead, check that off, and call it an accomplishment. So once you track your expenses, your first goal is gonna to be to cover your necessary expenses with rental income. So for me, I made $45,000 last year working my W-2 job, and that's $3,750 a month that I'm gonna to have to then try and supplement with my rental income. Once I hit that goal, I'll have the option of either quitting my job and going along without having to work the nine to five, or I can keep my job, I'll have my rental income coming in on top, and then I'll have the option to save up even faster for more real estate. Now here's the strategy that I'm gonna use to achieve this early retirement, and it's called house hacking. That's where I buy a multifamily unit, whether it's two, three, or four units, and I then live in one of those units and rent out the other ones. So the big advantage of living in your first property is that you're able to get a owner-occupied conventional loan. So that allows you to put less money down in your down payment, and it allows you to get lower interest rates, so you're able to get into real estate a lot sooner. Now, I bought my first property, which was a duplex at 21 years old, and I'm going to be living in one side and renting out the other side. So I'm gonna be collecting rent from the other unit, and I'm gonna be paying down my mortgage on that property each month with the rental income. That allows me to not have a living expense each month and in turn allows me to save up more money for my next property so I can get into it a lot faster. So the hack is I got my first property and I'm living there for free while collecting the principal pay down from the renters who's paying off my mortgage and along with gathering up the appreciation that comes along with the house. So my property, my mortgage payment's $976 a month and I'm gonna be collecting $950 from the other unit. This allows me to live there for basically free other than utilities and once I save up enough money, I'm able to go and do this again in another property. Once I move to that other property, then I'm gonna rent out the side that I was living in. 
So if I'm renting my one side for $950 and I move out, I'm then gonna rent my other side for $950 as well. That's gonna be a total of $1,900 and my mortgage payment is gonna be 976. So say we'll round up to $1,000. If I'm collecting $1,900 from my two renters in my duplex and I only have to pay the bank $1,000 a month for my mortgage, that gives me a leftover $900 in my pocket each month that I can then put into savings and that totals up to about $10,800 a year. So if I'm collecting $900 a month, I'm basically one fourth of the way to my $3,750 that I need to be able to quit my W-2 job. So if I find three other properties like this, how many properties is it gonna take for me to retire? It might only take me four properties. If I can find four properties that cash flow at $900 a piece, then that's gonna give me $3,600 a month that I can then sit back, look at my expenses and see if it's worth quitting my job or if I wanna keep adding on to that 3,600 with my W-2 and maybe get another property or two. And I'm fully aware that $900 a month is a great deal on real estate, but if you take your time, run the numbers on multiple properties and only put offers in on properties that are worth it, you're gonna be able to find these cash cows and be able to get to your early retirement a lot sooner. And most people, once they get the taste of real estate investing, they push themselves and don't stay in their comfort zone. So I'm not gonna be looking for another duplex for my next property. I might be looking for a four or six or eight unit property. Now with bigger properties, a triplex, a fourplex, a six or eight unit building, it's gonna take more money for a down payment. But I'm a true believer that once you make it a priority, it's really not that difficult. Cut back on your vacations, cut back on your expenses, delay your gratification now so that you can make this investment, make this down payment for your future self and to be able to make sure that you can retire young. Now I'm gonna give you an example of how you can pull the equity out of your first property and you can keep the momentum going so you can actually retire within the next four or five years and you don't have to wait and save up for those down payments. And that is called a cash out refinance. So when you first buy your house, the bank will give you an appraisal and tell you what your house is worth. So that's most likely what you got lending on. And for example, we'll say $160,000. Then you're gonna go through your property while you're house hacking and living on one side, and you're gonna do light cosmetic updates that don't cost a lot of money, but add value to your house. So you're gonna do things like redoing the floors, painting the walls, redoing the landscaping, fixing up the kitchen and bathroom, small things that will give you a good return on your investment and add value to your property. So we'll list the example here. We'll say $160,000. You put 15% down, which is $24,000. So that means you get a loan, you're financing for $136,000. We'll say at a 3.25 interest rate fixed over 30 years. Then after you get the house, let's say you put another $10,000 of your own money to fix up the place and do the renovations. So now after the value add to your property, let's say that your property is worth $200,000. So you bought it for 160, you put 10,000 into it, so you're into it for 170,000 total, and now it is appraising at $200,000. So your profit on the property and the value that you added to the property is gonna be $30,000. So that means you made $30,000, and in a nutshell, that's how real estate investing works. So you're gonna go to the bank, and you're gonna say, hey look, I just added value to my house, can I get a new appraisal and see what my house is worth? The bank is then going to appraise your house and then they'll give you a loan on the new value of your house. You use that new loan to pay down your old loan and you keep the cash profit in the middle. So we'll go back to our example. And since your original loan was $136,000 and your house is now worth $200,000, that means you have $64,000 of equity just sitting in your property. So you go to the bank they realize that your house is now worth $200,000. So if they give you a loan of 85% on $200,000, that new loan that they give you is $170,000. So you take the $170,000, you pay off your original $136,000 loan, and that gives you $34,000 cash that you were able to pull out of your property and then use that $34,000 to go and double up at the casino and buy a whole bunch of cocaine. I'm kidding, you use that $34,000 to go to your next property and put the money into it. You're gonna buy your next property, you're gonna house hack it, you're gonna fix it up, 
And then you're going to cash out refinance your second property and use that equity to put it into your third property. And then before you know it, you do it again, again, and again, and you keep doing this until you have enough rental income to supplement your job and you're able to retire early. No matter how many years that takes you, three, five, seven years, whatever it takes you to get those four or five properties, it is going to be worth it. Screw working for 30 years to retire when you're 62, when you can go ahead and follow these steps and be able to do it within the next five to seven years. It's gonna take you four properties to be able to supplement your income and get out of the rat race for good and to be able to use your time however you want to use it. Screw working the nine to five, screw waiting until you're 62 and watching your 401k take a hit right before retirement. Be your own rainmaker, control your own retirement, and have a payday every single month so you have nothing to worry about as you're sitting there doing the things you love with the time that you have. So to recap, it's gonna take you four properties to hit retirement. You're gonna go ahead and save up for a down payment. You're gonna house hack your first property. You're gonna value add, and then you're gonna cash out refinance and use that money to get into your next property. And you're gonna do it not one, two, three, you're gonna do it four, five, six times, however many you want to do. Because once you catch the bug, it's going to be tough to stop. And that's my exact plan on how I'm going to get out of the nine to five and get out of the rat race. So that is it, guys. I hope you learned something. If you did, please smash the like button and consider subscribing down below because at 500 subscribers, I'm picking two of you to walk through your first deal and to get the keys in your hand. So if that interests you, subscribe down below, baby. Follow me along the journey. We're going to get to early retirement together and I'm going to see you in the next one. Peace out.